Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in today's video, I'm going to actually do a kind of deconstruct. Instead of putting a planner together, I'm going to take it apart. Uh, I have this, what is this? Oh, this is the Webster's Pages. Uh, I think it's called Golden Dots or Golden Polka Dots. A5 binder, and I used this for a little while last year with my... Which inserts did I use? I don't know. I can't remember, but I'm sure once... Oh, the HB90. That's what it was. It was the HB90 Oops, uh, inserts. And um, I'm thinking about using this binder for something else, or I may not. I haven't quite decided yet. Now, I already have a health and wellness self-improvement notebook. But I also have these... Carpe Diem planner inserts, and this is the fitness insert set. And I kind of wanted to put these in here just for fun. Not necessarily saying I'm going to use this, but I might want to put these in here just for fun. Now, I really like having my wellness stuff in the disbound like happy planner that I have it in because it's just so easy to move pages around. I like the size, you know, because it's almost like a full a full sheet of paper. And I just really like the the flexibility and the functionality of it. But at the same time, I thought these inserts would be kind of fun. But again, I'm not feeling, you know, totally a hundred percent on board with it. But I said, you know, let's just go ahead and take out what's in here and uh, kind of see where I'm at, you know, when that's all said and done. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I thought I would turn on the camera so you guys can join me. Maybe you have a planner that you want to kind of deconstruct and repurpose for something else, or maybe you just have some old inserts that need to be uh, tossed or recycled or whatever. So let's go ahead and do this together. Now, I do like the sticker I have here, I have this little uh, girl, or I should say woman, uh, basking in the sun, which I hope to do at some point <laughs> in the new year. But I am going to take out these things here. Now, these are just some random stickers, as you can see. These are Erin Condren stickers. These were stickers that went on um, Caden's, Caden's uh, electric toothbrush. And then these are... Webster's pages, just some random stickers, which I do like, but what I don't like is the paper that these are printed on. It's so thick. It's like a cardstock. So it makes your pages really bulky, which I think that's why I never use these. But uh, these are all coming out. And I am going to keep this in here, although I can take these out here. These are just some labels that I thought I was going to use, but I never did. All right, so let's get into the dashboard. This is a divider that I bought I think a year ago. And I do like these uh, cardstock kind of dividers that I made. I think I'm going to take these out. Now I don't know if you've seen these but these are also by Webster's Pages and they're little like photo pockets and you can cut down you know photos, um, journaling cards, whatever to make like a little photo collage. So I might keep those, although I am gonna take out these these papers just because I don't like them. They just seem, for some reason, they seem kind of busy. Now have you ever done that where, you know, when you set something up, you're like, oh yeah, I totally like that. And then you look back at it a few months later and you're like, oh my gosh, did I do that? Like, did I, <laughs> did I put that together? Did I say I like that? I do that a lot. It's like my tastes and my preferences change. And uh, sometimes they change so drastically that it's funny that I even, you know, set it up that way to begin with. I can't get this one out. But, um,. Alright, this might be taking way more time than it's worth. 
But I have quite a few of these little like photo pages. Again, I get them from Webster's Pages. And they're about $5 a pack. So if you are interested, check their website. Uh, I do like this cute little vellum, so we'll keep that. So here we get into the HB90 method. I use this for Q3 in 2020, but all of this is going to come out and I'm gonna to toss all of this. So, we'll save the page marker, obviously. Yeah, just making sure I don't have, because sometimes I have sticky notes on here that I do want to keep, but I don't think I want to keep any of these. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Another divider, another back page I do want to keep. Another page marker, more inserts that are going to get tossed, but I'm just going to do a quick flip through, make sure nothing is in here that I may want to keep, doesn't look like there is. Okay, so that will be tossed. This is another cute divider, look how pretty that is. Another divider. Then we have... Uh, oh, it looks like some blank inserts that I never used. Okay, so I obviously didn't finish up these, but I'm going to throw them away because these are actually dated inserts. And I'm not going to use them. Now we do have a recycle... Uh, bin or a recycle program that comes through once a week, so those will go in there. We have another divider. Now these pages I actually really like. If you're familiar with the HB90 method of planning, it's really a planner for writers, and it uh, it's uh, created by Sarah Cannon, and she's a really sweet, sweet girl if you've ever seen her channel. Um, but what I like is that she really kind of breaks it down to help you break down your writing schedule if you're a writer. Now, I have done a lot of writing in my high school and college years, and I really enjoy it. I've written a few books. I've written um, some ebooks and, you know, things of that nature. So I really just enjoy um the creative process of writing. However, as I've gotten older, I find that it's harder for me to continue writing because uh, I just have so much going on with work and being a mom and life and all the things. But I really want to get back into writing this year. So I'm going to save those pages because those are actually helpful and useful. Now this is looks like it's just another divider with a back page. And now we have this little zip pouch with some journaling cards in here and looks like some stickers and some tabs, so I will definitely keep that. Then we have a page lifter. And then back here, I have a clear pocket and a, I don't know what this is, this is just some decorative paper. And then these are the Erin Condren stickers, which I don't use these because they're so tiny. And because they're so tiny, they don't stick very well. But these I might use. I know I'm not going to use these because they're just, they're just way too small, at least for me. You know, I write big and I like using a lot of space. So I'm going to toss that one. Uh, this is looks like it's from the budget notebook. I can definitely use some of these, so I'll keep that. All right, so now this planner has been deconstructed or emptied out.
And you may hear Caden in the background. He has hiccups. <laughs> and he is um, on his, his computer, which is not too far from where I'm filming. So uh, I'm going to throw these in here because even if I'm not going to use this, I think it would be fun to just see what's all in here and then... And then I can even just use this binder for storage if I'm not using this right now. So again, this is the uh, Carpe Diem. These are planner inserts, and this is the, is it focusing? Fitness insert set. So in case you're interested in buying these, I bought these online from their website directly when they had a huge clearance sale. I want to say it was last summer. Okay, so you get, you can see you get some dividers here. So let's take a look at what those look like. So this, again, it's fitness themed, so it's got exercise or wellness um, themed <laughs> to it. Now these colors are kind of busy for me, but um, you know, they're cute and I don't mind the phrases. So, you know, and plus this is not something I'm going to have to look at a lot. So I don't mind, you know, the busyness, but um, I would prefer something a little bit more, you know, a little bit more of a neutral or maybe just not so many colors but it is what it is. I want to say these inserts were like dirt cheap. That's why I bought them. Okay, so looks like you get like a first dashboard page. Then you get some stickers. These are really cute. More stickers. Three pages of stickers. Then you get a page to put in your measurements. Oh, it's just one page. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so you can put in your weight, plus or minus, and then your total, start weight, start date, goal weight, goal date. So, you know, maybe I'll use this as a companion to my um, wellness notebook, you know, just, just because I have it and I can. So you can see it's undated. And it's got monthly, monthly view here. All right, so that's what the months look like. Undated months, month on two pages. So let's see what else is in here after we get to December. Where is this? Oh, here it is. Okay, so here's December. Then after you get the month on two pages, looks like you get some note paper, and then you get, this paper is nice because I keep thinking there's two pages stuck together, but it's really thick. So here you get an undated week on two pages, and it looks like you put your meals in here. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, exercise, then you have goals and notes here, and it looks like you have quite a few of these. Uh, it doesn't look like you get enough for a whole year. It looks like you only get enough for about maybe three months, so I'm assuming it's like just enough for a quarter. Okay, so you've got that, and then you get this little folder, which is nice. So you have a little folder to put stickers or whatevs in there. And it's got the same, you know, design theme, the busy theme. So, okay. Oh, and then you get these cute little journaling cards. So let's take a look at these. So this one says do it, and you can see it's punched to put in your notebook. Oops. Drink your water. I always need a reminder for that. Then you just have some cute little designs here that you can put in. And you can like stick a you know picture or journal, whatever. But see, that's the thing with these is because they're so busy and there's so many colors, you couldn't even write on here if you wanted to. 
you know you would have to like stick something on here and then write on that little changes big results very nice okay so I'm just gonna throw these in here I might speed up this part of the video if I feel like it's taking too long but uh, at least you guys will be able to see me do it Okay, everyone, so I got the inserts in, and I think I have them set up how I like it, at least for now. And like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this for storage or if I'm going to actually, you know, use the fitness inserts in here. But let me show you what I did really quickly. So I kept that same front page dashboard just because I really like it and I think the colors work well. Then... Then I added in the vellum and this other dashboard page. Then we have stickers. And then I put in the first divider and then this goes right into the, uh, I guess this would be where you put your initial, you know, measurements or whatever. And what I'm probably going to do is put another divider here because this is where it starts the month on two pages. So I'm going to move this. There. All right, so I've got the remaining dividers here, and then in the back, I just have the note pages and then the weekly section, which now that I think about it, this probably should go in its own section. <laughs> I didn't think about that when I put all this together. Okay. All right, I really like this paper. It's cute because it has. Oh, but you only get one. It's uh, It's got the little water bottle design on it. Okay, so we've got monthly, we've got the weekly pages, then I have the remaining dividers, and then the folder, and then that little zip pouch here in the back. So that's what we've got going on in here, and I really like it. Uh, like I said, I'm not too sure. Oh, and what I did with those little journaling cards I just, because uh, I'm probably not going to use these, so I just stuck them in here in case I change my mind at some point, but uh, I just think, I guess they're just more decorative. I don't see how you can really use them for journaling because there's no space on it to journal. All right, let me fix this. Okay, so uh, that's what we got going on here, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope maybe you kind of went along with me and set up your planner, your binder, your journal for the new year. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this, but I like having it set up ready to go in case I change my mind because I do think these inserts are fun and I do think they could be useful just for keeping track of all of your physical fitness stuff. You know, I definitely think I definitely think this could be a powerful tool if you, you know, use it and stay consistent with it. So, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, drop them down below. 
Uh, otherwise, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I'll definitely see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.